Welcome back to Spirit of Outdoors. Me and Brody's got a package in the mail. We wanted to open up, see what it is. I'm, I know I have got several things coming from different people in the next few weeks. So I may uh, compile all of them into one video. But this is the first one we've got. Let me get my fishing knife. Y'all, I hadn't talked a lot about this fishing knife. I bought it, but you're going to start seeing it. When I get started crappie fishing and the weather is cooled off this morning, it's got a fish hook removed right there in a the scaler, which is very handy. But we're going to see what's in here. Brody loves opening these packages, so I'm going to get it cut open, and then I'll probably let him dig into it and see what's in it. I think it's going to be his anyway. We'll see. I don't know what all is in it here. Yeah, all right. Here, I'll get the card. You open that up and see what's in there. I don't know what all this is. Turn around. Turn around where the camera can see. You, you, you blocking the back. Of, whoa, no, whoa. You dropped it on the ground. Look at him. Oh, my word. Look how cute. What's in there? I love that. I think that'll come out there. Oh. That's a fish. You got a fish in a fish basket. You got a good fishing shirt. Put them in the cooler. Let me show the camera, y'all. <laughs> Brady's got a fishing shirt. It says, put them in the cooler. I love you that. got a one of a kind shirt. Your shirt says, put them in the cooler. And it's got our cooler on there. She made our cooler on there. Y'all, that's pretty pretty unique right there. Look. Are you going to wear your shirt? Yeah. Got a fish in the cooler on that. Look, there's a fishing line and all. Yeah. All right. Let's see what else is in here. You got two or three extra fish to go with you. Okay, because that was your sock drawer. Yeah. So we can that is from uh, Miss Joyce McQueen. Y'all see her comment on a lot of videos. Y'all okay. thank y'all for sending us stuff. We really appreciate it. He wants his fish in the cooler. Put his fish in the cooler. Put them in the cooler. I love that. <laughs> I'll be. All right. I think he's tickled. So we're going we're gonna to probably hang on to this video. I know i got some more stuff coming in the next week. Should be here. So uh, it may show up today. It's a Saturday morning. We'll take it and show it. And I, the way my videos are set up, it'll be over in a week before I can get these out. So anyway, okay. hang with us. Thank you for watching. Y'all, I am stripping this golden rod off. Just putting it all in this jar. Just crumbling it up the best way you can. Uh, get the stems off. If you can get it in there like that, it don't matter. But I'm just stripping it. Whatever comes off on this table, I am putting in there so welcome back to spirit of the outdoors we putting up a little bit of medicinal plants i get excited sometimes when i'm fooling with them i think um so right here this this is all altissima solidago altissima it branches out a lot more than the solidago canadensis or rugosa does a lot of times the rugosa at the top will look more just like this. And then the solidega, I mean the canadensis will just look like one of these where the altissima will branch out into this. The rugosa will just be one stem usually, not probably every guaranteed time, but most cases. So I'm just stripping this golden rod and I'm putting it in a jar right here that I labeled. And you see I have wrote on it what it is, which I will know. I can smell of it and tell you what it is. And I only, y'all, I'm only preserving the, the plants that I use. 
I don't just go out and harvest every medicinal plant there is because if I'm not going to use it, if I'm not sick and, and need that plant, there's no point in me fooling with it a lot. You know what I mean? So, you know, a lot of people ask, well, why don't you get this? Or why don't you get that? And a lot of it is because I, you know, I don't need it. And a lot of this is not that I'm using it for medicine. Y'all, goldenrod is just a good tea. And I, I mean, it helps build your immune system and, and a lot of different things. It builds up the tissue and stuff around your skin. And I ain't a fan of these brown leaves, but they won't hurt nothing if you're just making tea to drink. And that's what I do. I have actually got this right here. It is goldenrod tea. You see how yellowish look? So I'll, uh, I'll let y'all get a look in there. That's kind of what it looks like. But I've got to get some of the, I got a bunch of plants hanging up around and I need to get them done. So this one over here, a lot of yellow flowers. I'm putting the dried tops over here in a separate jar. They will dry and, and the tea is a little different. It has a little bit, this is more your diuretic cold medicine right here. And I'm drying them just in case I decide I want to make more tincture or something, you know. I don't make as much tea out of them. But you can. You very well can. A lot of people think, you know, when you don't do something that you shouldn't do, I, you, can, you can make tea out of any of this, I think, as far as what I know. So I'm just, I got my cutters right here, y'all, and I'm just snipping them tops and cramming them. And uh, I want to keep them from just bleaching out and turning white. They will do that, get really, really fuzzy. Oh. I've got see whole water there. I'll just cram all that down in there as best I can. You kind of put it in there however you want to. If you want to arrange it to look more pretty, I just kind of stuff it in there. And I may get some more eventually, but I mean it's loose. But I have got a jar full pretty much. So now, now I want to get all of this plant off, and I'm just gonna strip it off on this table right here. I'm just basically taking my hands and stripping these dried leaves down. If it crumbles up real fine, it's okay. If you leave it in whole leaves, it is fine. There's not a really a certain right way to do it. Uh, you have to figure out kind of what you're going to be initially doing with it and do that. Do what works best for you. I'm I'm kind of somewhat in a hurry. I need to be making pottery and I need to get this done, but it was hanging up over here. And what happened is it's done got so dry in here with the air conditioner and all running. Uh, and it's in my way to some of my other stuff, but it was breaking off and falling on the floor. And I didn't need to lose it like that. So now you see, I got this all over the table. So I just take my hand and I'm doing this before I started pottery while my table is clean. Cause once I start making pottery, it'll have a lot of pottery dust and you don't want to put that in your tea. Uh, which y'all won't have that problem. Hopefully. <laughs> so I don't like whole leaves because they don't fit. You can't dip them out as well and fit them into your your tea ball, I use these little screen balls, tea balls. But y'all, goldenrod tea is probably one of my favorite. That and rabbit tobacco is my two favorite things just to make a tea out of. Really, it helps me keep from drinking too much coffee, but it is good as a diuretic and, and a cold. And it has a lot of good uses. And it has some topical applications. You want to make some medicine out of it, so... 
there we go. So that's just a little short video on me putting up some of my medicinal plants. I'll put them up here on the shelf. Thank y'all for watching Spirit of the Outdoors. Remember, the best way to do things is the way you like to do it. We'll see y'all. Y'all have a good one.